So recently I've been trying to figure out how good is the Line 6 Helix for bass guitar? Now most people think of the Helix products as being guitar amp modelers and multi effects for guitar players, um, but it's designed for bass players as well. There's plenty of bass presets in there and there's bass amps that are modelled. But my question is, is the Helix bass presets, are they just for guitar players who play bass as a second instrument or can they actually be useful for bass players as well? To be honest that I bought the, the Helix last year for, for guitar reasons because I teach both guitar and bass guitar and when I had to move all of my teaching online in the pandemic I needed something that would get a good guitar tone and go straight into my computer and so that was why I bought the Helix so I could use it with my guitar teaching and it's just recently that I've started to really explore it as a unit for bass as well and I think there are some things that it's really useful for. So it's got all of these bass amp models, so some more modern stuff, but mostly kind of vintage bass amps. And I think that's really where it's useful. If you're someone like me who doesn't really do that kind of vintage bass sound as their main thing, but you want to have the ability to be able to use that when you need it, then the Helix, I think, really comes into its own. So here's, here's the model of the Ampeg B15. <laughs> So obviously playing a digital modeler like a Helix is never going to replicate the experience of playing the real amplifier. It's just, it's never going to do that. That's not really the point. The question is, how well does the sound of the Helix compare to the recorded sound of a B15? I think the Helix does a pretty good job there. I think if you're trying to get those vintage sounds and you don't want to invest in all the palaver of getting the gear, I think that the, the Helix is just about the best you can do. So it's really useful from that point of view. And the other thing that it's really useful for, I think, is effects. <laughs> So there's all kinds of different effects in there, guitar effects, bass effects, and you can create synth bass sounds and you can do all kinds of different things. <laughs> bass player I wouldn't necessarily use this as my main go-to thing but when you're in those specific situations where you need those sounds and it's not the main thing you normally do it is a really useful unit to have. <laughs> 